Hey everybody, hope you're having an awesome day. We're back here in Dragonvale World and today we're going to be doing something different and fun. We're going to be checking out all the dragons in Dragonvale World. Now it took me a while to set up all the dragons. I got them all on all the different habitats. I wanted to go through all the different habitats as well. And uh, a lot of people requested this because they wanted to see what the dragons look like. Uh, especially, of course, the ones that they don't have. And also, I have nothing going on in the breeding areas because I had to make sure all the dragons were out so I could show them to you. And the airship is back, so no dragons are off on the airship. And the gather map is completely empty right at the moment. So I can show you all the dragons. Now, all the dragons are going to be level 15 or higher. Uh, I'm not going to be showing the enchanted dragons because I don't have all the enchanted dragons. I have some of them, but when I get them all, I'll try and do a video showing all the enchanted dragons. Um, and as I go through each dragon, you'll be able to see the traits down in the bottom left and the earning rates just under the name of the dragon. Uh, and I'll try to do a spin around. You can spin the dragon, so I'll try to... Uh, spin the dragon so you can see it from all sides. So let's get started and we're going to start right here on the jungle habitat and the first dragon we have is the jungle dragon and we'll do a little spin around of the jungle dragon so you can see it from all sides and I would assume most of you already have this dragon Next up is the fly trap. And there's the fly trap dragon. Next we have the oasis dragon. He's at level 18, or she is at level 18. And there's a cool oasis dragon. Next is the fern dragon. And I have a spell on this dragon. Spells are merely cosmetic and really don't have anything to do uh, with increasing your chances on breeding. But they just look cool. And next is the canopy dragon. This is an awesome looking dragon. Great colors. Very colorful wings. And there's the canopy dragon. And that's it for that habitat. We're going to move on to the next jungle habitat. And up next is the fur dragon. And there you are, the fur dragon. Big huge wings on the fur dragon. He looks pretty cool. And next is the glade dragon. Fairly simple looking dragon, nice colors on the tail. A smaller dragon. That's uh, still a cool dragon. And then we have an alpine dragon. And now we're going to move over to our earth habitat. And first up is the Earth Dragon. And we have a level 20 Earth Dragon here. And he's got spikes all over him, almost like the Elder Earth Dragon in Dragonvale. But he's a cool looking dragon. Next is the Underbrush Dragon. And he's got a neat animation, sort of an inquisitive Checking out everything. His tongue pops out. And now we have the Wooly Dragon. He changes quite a bit at level 15. He's an awesome looking dragon. And then the Magma Dragon. I like this dragon a lot. He's a very cool dragon. And that's the Magma Dragon. 
And we're going to move over to this habitat. And next up is the labyrinth dragon. Almost looks like a, a bull with those giant horns on the front of him or on the front of her. So there's your labyrinth dragon. And then we have the dune dragon. There we go. We got it spinning the dune dragon. Nice long snake-like tail on the dune dragon. And now this is the tumbleweed dragon. Kind of a bizarre looking little dragon. With a bit of a hunchback. Stubby little tail. Still a neat neat kind of dragon, very different looking. And the mineral dragon is next. Also has a fairy trait, that's probably why the uh, nice bright colors. There's our mineral dragon. Next up, canyon dragon. This is the canyon dragon. Sort of uh, tiger stripes all the way down its back. And this dragon has a spell as well around his head. And then one last dragon in the earth habitat is the fossil dragon. And there's our fossil dragon. It's a larger dragon too. It's pretty big in the habitats. And there's the fossil dragon. You can see how big he is in the habitat here. He is quite large compared to the magma and the other dragons that are in this habitat. So moving right along, we're going to go over to the fire habitats. And right up here, start with the fire dragon. He's at level 15, or she's at level 15. Very similar to the fire dragon in Dragon Veil. Almost identical, just a 3D version. Next is a thermal dragon. And he looks pretty vicious. Pretty nasty looking dragon. There's the thermal. And then we have the wildfire dragon. I like this dragon. He's very cool. Majestic looking dragon. He also has a spell on his head, above his head, or like a halo. And this is the imp dragon. A very ornate tail. And we're going to go to another fire habitat here. And now we got one of the really cool looking dragons based on, I guess, the Lord of the Rings movies. The Balrog dragon. He's awesome. Looks great. Or she. And next is the Frostburn Dragon, which has a fire and a frozen trait. Guess those are big ice wings on him or on her. But icicles all over this dragon. That's a cool dragon. And Cinder is next. This is a bit of a tough dragon for people to get, but I've noticed a lot of people uh, have managed to get this dragon lately. That's a cool looking dragon with his big long spiky wings and its animated tail <laughs> that seems to have a mind of its own. And then we have the Venom Dragon. Very snake-like head 
and a rattlesnake tail. That's a cool dragon. I'm going to go to another fire habitat and check out two more. This is the geyser dragon. The big, big round plump dragon. And I think he has an animated version where things shoot out of the top of his head or the from his back, those spouts on his back, but I haven't seen that happen lately, so I'm not sure if he still does it or not. And this is the Paradise Dragon. A very cool looking dragon. A very decorative headpiece with all the spikes around the top of his head there. And now we're going to go over to the frozen habitats. Into here. And we're going to look at the frozen dragon. Here's our frozen dragon. And this is the tundra dragon. The icicles dripping off of the horns on its head. There's a tundra dragon, and this is the thaw dragon. Kind of a, an aquatic looking dragon, a little bit, with a streamlined body, but a very cool design. You know, we're going to go over to this habitat and see a couple of really neat, awesome dragons. We're going to start with the frost dragon, which is very similar to the snowflake dragons in Dragonvale. But there's the frost dragon, a bit of a smaller dragon. And this is a Borealis, but we're going to look at a Borealis later on because this is only level 12. And here's the Rhine Dragon. Very, very cool dragon. With an air and a frozen trait. This is the Rhine Dragon. And now we're going to go over to the water habitats and check out the water dragon first. And here's a water dragon, very close to the one in Dragon Vale as well. Shares a, a few of the characteristics of the elder water dragon, I think. The next is the tropical dragon. Like a sunrise or a sunset on its wings and head. Very tropical looking. And now we have the polar dragon. A very different looking dragon. It's a wingless dragon. It's got a very big, thick, strong tail. Looks like it'd make a good swimmer. And I'm not sure what that thing is dangling in front of his face, but this is the polar dragon. And whirlpool dragon. Cool pattern, almost like a giant salamander. Only has two feet and no wings. So it's a cool looking dragon. And we're gonna head down here and take a look at the Newt dragon. Very aquatic looking dragon. Looks like a salamander with spikes. And this is the shore dragon. Almost like a dinosaur. But cool looking dragon. And I like this dragon a lot. This is the grotto dragon. The design of this dragon, the curly tail, the big 
ornamental tail on the back or the big fins on the tail and the head. It's a very cool looking dragon. I like this. The colors, everything about this dragon. And now we have our Nar dragon, which is, reminds me of a, a big Viking ship with those striped wings. Got the big curly tail. There's a great looking dragon, the Nar dragon. And now we're going to head over to the fairy habitats. And right over to this one. Start with the fairy dragon. This one's at level 20. And his wings don't seem to be attached to her body, and I'm not sure why, but they're sort of floating just above the body. But that's the fairy dragon. I guess there's some wizard magic going on there. Who knows? And the elfin dragon, cute little dragon. And next is the iris dragon, an awesome looking dragon. Great design, colorful wings. Love the purple and the, the red colors and the orange. It's very cool looking dragon. A lot of people like this dragon quite a bit. And now we have the Borealis again. You can see the difference from, from the first one. This is a level 16 Borealis. Another really, really cool looking dragon with a big long snake-like tail and flowing wings. That's the Borealis dragon. And we'll go to another fairy habitat over here. And this is the dew drop. And you can see the big drop of dew off the end of his tail there. And sort of the dew drop looking wings. Look like they're all watery wings. A couple of drops on their head there. And this is the wink dragon. Give us a wink, wink dragon. I don't know if this wink dragon actually winks or not, but that's the wink dragon. And the fox glow dragon. The big long tail on the fox glow dragon. It looks like he's ready to pounce because he's always in this crouch mode or crouch position. And then the Cavern Dragon, which is a really neat looking dragon. There's the Cavern Dragon. There's one of the dragons that has three traits. Like the Gnar and the uh, Cinder. This dragon has three traits. And now we're going to go over to the Air Habitats. Way in the back here. Oh, we finished upgrading this habitat. Cool. So let's go to this air habitat and we're going to start with the air dragon. And there's our air dragon. In constant flight, never lands, always flying. And next is the mist dragon. Always floating just above the ground. Very, very cool and unique looking dragon. And here is the sonar dragon. Now watch when I spin this dragon around, you'll see the underside of his wings and there's a pattern under his wings, which is very cool. Almost like a monarch butterfly. Very fast, fluttery wings. There's the sonar. And this is the gossamer dragon. A nice, simple, elegant looking dragon. It has a fairy habitat, or a fairy 
trait as well. So there's the Gossamer Dragon. And then we're going to go over to another air habitat and check out a couple more air dragons here. This is the Mistral Dragon. This looks like another dragon that doesn't land. It's always up in the air flying about. Big beautiful wings on this dragon. Which I don't think appear until level 15. And there's an enchanted dragon. There's an enchanted paradise. We'll get into the enchanteds in another video. And a canopy, and this is where I wanted to get to, is the Badlands Dragon. With a big tail, big brutal looking tail. <laughs> and there's sort of a Triceratops type head on, on this dragon. Great looking dragon. That's the Badlands Dragon. And now we're going to get into some of the epic dragons. We're going to head over to the rainbow habitat here. And we're going to check out the plumed dragon. This is a great looking dragon. I almost like this a little bit more than the rainbow dragon. The rainbow dragon is very popular, but look at this plumed dragon. It just looks fantastic. And here is the Rainbow Dragon. This took us a while to get into the park. I don't know how many times we tried breeding for this dragon, but it was a lot. But it's great to finally have the Rainbow Dragon in the park. And we're almost done getting down to the last few dragons. We're going to head over to the Ancient Habitat. And this is one of the first dragons we got, believe it or not. I was very surprised to get this dragon, but this is the Hieroglyph Dragon. Uh, currently not available, but I hope it comes back, because a lot of people would love to get this dragon. As well as the enchanted version of this dragon. And here's the Oracle Dragon. Again, the wings are sort of floating off to the side of this dragon. Has some kind of mystical powers. But there's the Oracle Dragon. And then the Totem Dragon with his huge, massive wings, which look incredible. They're awesome looking wings. And there's your Totem Dragon. And we're going to go over to this habitat here and check out the Petroglyph Dragon. An awesome looking dragon. So many great dragons in this game. And this is the Petroglyph Dragon. And we have one last dragon to show you. And that's the one we wanted to get first, we tried to get first, and we eventually did get it, and this is the Kaiju Dragon. I would imagine it's based a bit on the monsters from the Pacific Rim movie, but this dragon looks really, really amazing. A great dragon. And this is up at level 20, and they get a bit bigger. They get actually this size once you get to level 15. And then once you level up, Further to 20, it just increases the dragon cash that this dragon earns. So there's the Kaiju Dragon. So that's all of the regular dragons in Dragon Vale. I hope you enjoy this video. There's a lot of dragons still yet for us to get, uh, which are the Enchanted Dragons. And we got a few other eggs here that we're working on, but no Enchanted Dragons at the moment. But those are all the dragons. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos on Dragon Veil vale World. We'll see you guys next time.